In this video, we'll import custom IP into the Libero project and create a custom HDL module with bus interface ports and parameters. To import custom HDL into a Libero SOC project, select File, Import, and then select HDL Source Files. Navigate to the HDL file you want to import and select Open. Once you do this, rebuild your design hierarchy so that the register file appears in it. In this case, the HDL that we've imported has one parameter called Invert. To invert its output, an APB interface and an output of a register bit. If we don't set the invert parameter, we just have our output. If we set the invert parameter, we invert our register output value. If you want to set and clear the output, you can just read and write values into the register. If we return to the smart design and instantiate the core, we can see all of the input and output pins being shown, even for the APB interface. If we double-click on the core, the source file is opened. Delete this core from the smart design and return to the design hierarchy. Right-click on the HDL source file and select Create Core from HDL. When asked, would you like to remove any of the parameters or add bus interfaces to your core, select Yes. We can see that Libero has extracted the invert parameter. And now, we'd like to add a bus interface to the core. Select Add Bus Interface, and this will open up the available bus interfaces that Libero can generate. In this case, the peripheral has an APB Slave interface. So select APB Slave and click OK. Libero will auto-attempt to map the pins for you. If your input and output interface ports have a prefix, you can add that in here. In this case, we simply need to match up the P-Select input with a P-Select X signal. Let's give the bus interface a name and select OK. Once you've done that again, just click OK. We can now see the custom register has an HDL Plus icon beside it. And now, if we instantiate it in the fabric, the clock and reset pins still appear. But we now have this APB Slave Bus Interface port, and only the register bit output shows up. If you wanted to show or hide any of the pins that were contained in the bus interface, right-click on the port and select Show or Hide BIF Pins, where you can then select whatever pins you would like to re-expose to the fabric. And now if we double-click on the custom register file, a configurator will open for us, where we can enter a value for the parameters that we provided in my core.